doing? Good. How are you yeah. doing? Great. Yeah. <laughs> so I just realized I'm on television. <laughs> I'm new to this. It's cool. It's good. <laughs> they don't tell me anything. They're like, right. oh, no, no. You're on now. That camera, that's what that does. Yeah, he, uh, he only speaks when it's written in script format yes, for yes. him. They and, teach me new uh, things. He only comes alive when someone yells action. So. Yes, I, I was waiting for my, my cue. I'm sorry, Mr. DeMille. Yeah, can you give him a cue? Oh, star? you're... <laughs> You're fine. So you guys are starring in um, the USA Network um, once again with season two of Sirens. And I'm so excited about it because I watched that show. And I just wanted to talk to you guys today about um, each of your character and, you know, a life about comedy. And um, Kevin Daniels, I yeah. wanted to start with you. You play um, the MT Tank. Uh-huh. Once again, you're coming back. And um, tell everybody, I guess, where everybody can expect from you this time around. You know, a, 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 a lot of the same, and then a lot of different things. You they see, basically just said nothing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that means That's a, nothing. No, you know, you get the to like... same and different. Hey, he's still, <laughs> he's still like, you know, free with his thoughts, and we're going to give you his opinion. But now he might be a little le- he might be a little more neurotic because he's involved. He's more he's, neurotic. He's a little more neurotic. He's involved in a bit of a he's relationship. He's still tall. He's still tall. That's what I'm saying. A lot of the same. He's still tall. He's still he's loud. Still, is he? Uh, he is black. He's still black. And he's still black. Still black. Hashtag still black. That's every day. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Uh, <laughs> no, you get, what I what I love about this season is uh, they they uh, Annabelle uh, Annabelle. I was about to Oaks. say Oaks. I was about to say Walker. Annabelle I was about to say Annabelle Oaks. Oaks. Sarah Walker. Sarah Walker. So, right. Annabelle Oaks is our, one of our head writers. She's fantastic. And she said something about, she said what I really love about Hank is taking him out of his comfort zone and dropping him in situations where he unravels a little bit. So there's this mm-hmm. this, this episode coming up where we're in a, uh, a gym. It's a, the episode's called Transsensual. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and you get, and you kind of find ways to attack people's character and they, and they attack Hank through his vanity. And it's, it's it's pretty kind of spectacular what they do with him. Mm-hmm. I, I, I I enjoy that a lot. Yep. But and so you know you'll, you'll see us in different scenarios and you will get to like just see different facets of where, where the I guys are. I didn't help you out there. Just you like, didn't. You just yep. let me. Yeah, he looked you at see me that? too. I know. He was like, like, "Are you gonna give me anything?" Really? You're gonna go? Nothing. Yep. <laughs> Nothing for you. Right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I and, agree. Um, Kevin Bigley, yeah, I was about to say, you agree. You're the rookie, right? You're, you're playing Brian this time around. So um, you're the rookie. So tell us about, you know, your new spot as an EMT. Um, yeah, the, the first season, uh, which you can kind of see Brian kind of try to navigate what this job is, and he's kind of being filled in uh, a lot of, you know, his role in things. This season, it's a lot more of him becoming a little bit more confident in his role, a lot more overconfident, uh, usually in his opinions. A little pushy. A little yeah. pushy. Yeah, cool. yeah. Cool. What's well, a natural thing no, when you're, when you're sitting happens. in the middle of two people? You right. kind of get you have to push your way in. So um, there's a lot of yeah, a lot of shouldering, a lot of shouldering, a lot of like, um, hey, you look so close to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out of my face. Get out of my light. Uh, stop looking at me. Yeah, get out of my light. He's a chip on his shoulder this year. Uh, it's yeah, don't knock on my trailer. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that this season. A lot of ego. Oh, now, you guys are full of hypeness, you know, for early in the morning. Where do you guys find your inspiration, um, you know, to keep people laughing? Because, I mean, you just come up with jokes already. <laughs> oh, you. look. I think, well, girl, you know, I like to take long walks on the beach. <laughs> Get a little, we got some coffee. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it's a lot happening. Because we, we in sunny L.A., so there's we're not in a blizzard. We had yeah. a little rainstorm last night, though. That was scary. Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. We, we were fine. Us out. Was, uh, but, I had nightmares. Yeah, uh, you had nightmares. I, I find myself um, very constantly motivated by caffeine. Once I look, I have a sip of coffee and I look inward. Mm-hmm. And I find that energy. But you know, honestly, I can tackle any. This morning, what really got me through was Michael Mosley. I was thinking, like, what would Michael Mosley do on this morning when you had to be up at five thirty to talk to all of the TV stars? I have a picture stores? of him, uh, several pictures of him on my phone. You do uh, not like that, uh, but you know, just uh, just that beautiful, yeah. beautiful face. Yeah, the coiffed hair, I will, the dreamy eyes. I will pull it up, and I'll look at that picture, and I'll go, "Hey, Mike, mm-hmm. we're gonna do it today." What would Michael Mosley do? What are you? What would you do? In this situation, and I get that, and then I take a sip of coffee, and then I con- I conquer it, Michael that's, Mosley style. That's what we do. True story. Wow. Okay. Coffee is your mojo. <laughs> so, what's um, one of your best, I guess, comedy lines that both of you guys have ever said, or something like that? Uh, I guess favorite scripted line dialogue. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Let's see. Um, 
Most from, of from season one or season most two? Of them we can't. Say. Yeah, we can't say. <laughs> exactly. I was like, I was like, girl, get, this is gonna be on the TV. Girl, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, can it be? I, I'm gonna do someone else's line, and which is uh, uh, one of my favorite s- scripted lines or, or exchanges takes place between uh, Emily and Teresa, and it's in an episode called All the Single Ladies. And they're having a little sibling rivalry, like a sister's fight. And Teresa turns to her sister and she's like, you ruined middle school for me. And Maeve comes back, your unibrow ruined middle school. <laughs> <laughs> and the way, yeah. I, 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 it just tickles me every time I hear it. That I, we have I, a really I, good bit where um, there's a, a cardiac arrest on a tennis court. Mm. And a uh, uh, tennis ball machine still shooting the tennis balls. So they're rescuing him. And meanwhile, I'm figuring out how to stop this tennis ball machine. So at one point, I physically leap in front of the, the tennis ball machine, take tennis balls to the chest. That was a pretty fun day. Yeah. So I had a good time with that. She asked for scripted dialogue, though, but that's okay. That no, was no, no, that's, written in the action lines. It was so written in the action yeah, you know, If, I, if you me. call that dialogue, you know, we go through a lot of this. It's okay. There was no dialogue that was improv dialogue. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I yes. give up. <laughs> and nothing. Wow. Wow. You guys are good together. <laughs> oh, now, wow. I'll start with you. I know this is funny. Now, one of my things um, that I watched the the I season the Clear Search history that was hilarious. Oh, you like that? Um, Rachel McAdams topless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that's that actually yeah, happened. Yeah, when y'all were looking at the computer. That yeah. story so is that based. That was my favorite. That story what was your favorite on, from last season? Oh, um, favorite favorite episode last season? Uh, that that that's up there. But I think the finger. Uh, there's something about that episode that I really. I really dig. I, I love Brian and Voodoo's relationship in it. I love one of the, that, that's one of the favorite scenes we shot to, for me. Like was watching Bill Nunn and Loretta Devine sit Ooh. around a table talking about Black Jesus mm. and Black women cooking. And I just yeah. like, and I was like, because when I got the script, I was just like, Bob, who Black you got in your family? <laughs> <laughs> Where you get this from, man? You yeah, know what yeah, I, yeah. I, I just and I, and I love seeing you know. That go from this contentious bickering to like flirting to suddenly they're a couple. I I, I love that. Mm-hmm. About the oil. Yeah, yeah the yeah. oil. My oil is <laughs> hot. <laughs> hot yeah, as actually, hell. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Bill Nunn because uh, he's buddies with Sam Jackson. Yeah, Sam Jackson. And and, uh, uh, and Jackson Sam Jackson said he liked that. Yeah, he loved it. Sam thing. reached out to Bill and told him which like, and I was like, I was like, dude, <laughs> Sam Jackson watching our TV show. And well, Jackson watched our television show. It was an immediate. Uh, I, got, I got really excited. Yeah. I was like, yeah, thank, was you, Sam. Sam. thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. I know you're watching. He's watching this, this right now. <laughs> I know you are, and thank you. <laughs> Y'all are just cracking me up, um, seriously, before 12 o'clock. This is funny. Mm-hmm. Now, so what other comedians would you guys want to work with? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, anybody want to come do our show? <laughs> I'm like, oh, please come. Uh-huh. Please come. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a couple people, but I ain't going to name, you know, I don't want to bash about uh, How about the ones that we did get to work with? Yeah, like Andy with Kindler. Andy Kindler, Lenny Clark again. Yes, Lenny right. Clark again. One of the funniest people on the planet. Wayne Knight. Uh, Wayne through. Knight, uh, yeah, Newman, yeah. Uh, I feel like we're missing somebody really huge. Nora uh, Dunn. Nora Dunn Nora came. Dunn, famous comedian. Yeah, Brian yeah. Doyle Murray. Brian Doyle Murray. Came in. Um, Ooh. I mean, we, we really we got Cash, lucky. Yeah. I Cash came in. Ooh. Uh uh, Nicky Loesch. Nicky Loesch was here. Dennis Leary. Um, but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> Nicky Loesch. Yeah, yeah. yeah Nicky Loesch is awesome. Deloche. 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 You know, that's cool. Deloche. Yeah. She's going to be watching this. Our, yeah, I'm I know. Telling. Nicky, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky, oh, I'm wow. So sorry. <laughs> now, any of them like I guess Kevin Hart or Cat Williams or, you know, Nick Cannon and then some of the other guys like that oh, um, come dude, to play. Oh, you, you want to shoot for the, you the, shoot for the moon, Hollywood? don't you, Star? I know. You want to no. shoot for the moon, I like it. Hey, I like it. Yeah, yo, Kevin, yo, Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, look, I'm, I know this guy named Dennis Leary. He got this little TV show. Uh-huh. He said, you can come be on it. Yeah. You going to do so it with So, Kevin Hart, if you... You got to open it. If Kevin wants to come be on our show, we would absolutely... I bet you, I promise you, they would find a way to put Kevin Hart on Sirens. Craig Robinson? Craig Robinson was almost on our show, though. Steve Peake, who directed Hot Tub Time Machine, came in and directed a couple blocks for us. Two of my favorite episodes this year. And they were pitching a role for him... And he was like, and it, I think we ended up with scheduling Scheduled thing, in line but he up. was really, he was about to like come do it. And we were like, wow, uh, Craig Robinson's going to be on our show, which yeah, would have been dope. Come on, Craig. But, um, come yeah. on, Craig. That's all right. Next time, we, st- hey, we still out. got you, man. No, Let's look. work it out, Craig. I know you're watching this too. You and Kevin Hart in the same And Sam room. Jackson. 
watching this and Sam Jackson's hanging over your shoulder and I say hi to all three of you. Mm -hmm. And why don't we just do a three where you guys just come on? <laughs> <laughs> now I have a serious question for you guys. I hate to interrupt y'all, you know, back and forth talking because you guys are on a roll. Now, on a serious note, uh -huh. how do you think um, comedy has changed? Do you think it's changed a lot, or, you know, do you like the changes of comedy? We've got stand-up comedy, you know, how it's always on TV now, or on, like, series like you guys. Um, how do you think it's changed? I think comedy is always evolving. It's mm -hmm. kind of a, it's a, it, it is very similar to, uh, if you want to get serious, let's get serious. Yeah, man. It's a philosophy. These are philosophers. Uh, you have a guy like Louis C.K., um, you know, uh, who is basically a philosopher. Uh, you know, but they're all kind of pulling and influenced by various people. You know, he's obviously very influenced by guys like Carlin and Pryor. So it's always, always evolving. I mean, because uh, I really something different. think the, the, the great comedy is really just painting a picture of of, of life for us in a through through a, a way where we, we can we can access it. And you know, you want to get them laughing, you want to get them laughing, you want to get them laughing, and then you want to hit them with a little bit of truth. And I think that's, that's the, best, the best way to do it. And, and watching, like over the years, you know, from, you know, Vlaville to, to whatever, to, to Vlaville right. to stand up, you know, yeah, but it, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's always changing. It's going to be like, you know, what's going to hit people, you know, soonest and what's going to like, what's really going to speak to them and, and get them there. You know, what's, what's, what's great about us, what's great, what's lucky for us is that, this is like the golden age of television. They keep calling mm -hmm. it, you know, and like, and so we're really fortunate just to be working, a. But then, like, to work on a piece with really like comedic geniuses. I mean, Dennis Leary's brand of comedy is, you know, well known. He's so smart and he's so biting. And you know, Bob Fisher wrote Wedding Crashers, and you know, We're the Millers, and he's like, he's the perfect TV comedy writer. He's like the, the, the prototype, you know. And, and like, you you get you get to like just kind of tell these stories and like just show a little reflection of, you know, what is it? Nature of Tamir. To his nature. What did Shakespeare say? I, I, I forgot. You went to Juilliard. You I know. That? I should know that. Should I should know, know that. that. I you should have that memory. Hold the hold the mirror towards him. life. Or something. That's what that's we want to do. It's that's something like terrible. that. I don't know. It's in Hamlet. That's he really lost it. I lost right it. Right I've almost. gone. It's um, too bad. But yeah, uh, I gotta yeah. send my degree back. Yeah. They're gonna come after me. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you need one. Oh wow. You need one. Don't tell me. Now, now, real quick before you guys gotta leave me. Huh? Um, for, yeah, real quick, um, before you guys got to leave me, where can your fans, um, go to follow each of you, um, separately, like your Facebook and your Twitter? Oh, oh yeah, look here. Like so that. my Twitter <laughs> handle is Kevin D. Daniels. <laughs> and I am... Kevin Bigley. Because he's smart. Because I'm just D not, is for my middle yeah. name. It's already Kevin Daniels, and he won't give me my handle. But that's okay. I'm verified. I got a check mark. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can well, get me on Instagram at, uh, Kevin Daniels 27 because it's 26 other Kevin Daniels, but Kevin Daniels 27 on Instagram, and you can follow the show at, at Sirens USA, and... All that that he just... That but you have an Instagram? What's your Instagram? I don't remember. It's Kevin Is G. It? Bigley or w, w. Bigley? W. Kevin W. Bigley, for your yeah. middle name. Yeah. See, look, I'll, I'll, that I'll pay attention. That might be it. That's it. my Instagram. That's um, your Instagram. I am not sure. But yes, Kevin Bigger on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's actually, he's, he may be the youngest in the cast, but he's really the old man. Um, he's new to all this right. newfangled technology an stuff. Soul. An old soul. You know, but you know, you handle, you handle Twitter better than Mosley. Yeah, Mosley's, Mosley's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think that's a great note to end on. That's a great note to end on. And that's a wrap. I need you to know your Instagram, though, for real, though. What'd you Kevin, say? Kevin, I'm going to need you to know your Instagram. My oh. baby. Oh, I, I think it's, <laughs> no. It is. It's. It's. Uh, can is I? Can it, I pull out the phone? Is that crazy? Uh, you know, I, I started the interview on the phone. Might as well end it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well find out what's happening. He's finding out right now. Look I'm how look, fast boom, he knows and where I'm quick. everything is. It's Kevin W. Bigley. Look at that, Kevin W. Bigley. Kevin W. Bigley. On yeah. Instagram. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of pictures of Nate. And then Kevin Bigley on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Kevin D. Daniels on Twitter. Kevin Daniels twenty seven on Instagram. That's. I'm gonna repeat okay. that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Welcome to the okay. internet. Welcome to the internet, <laughs> Central y'all, USA. Ooh, ooh. And you know yes. we live tweet too. Really? So actually, if you come follow us yes. on Twitter, we we kind of we do a little hashtag. Was it Ask Sirens? Ask Sirens. I think Ask Sirens, Sirens USA, mm -hmm. Sirens Season Two. Hey y'all, why are you mean talking to me? Whatever you want to do, <laughs> <laughs> you just send it out there. We gonna right. Mm -hmm. All right. So everybody better be live tweeting with both double Kevin's <laughs> <laughs> on Sirens.